Welcome to our overview of running your first pipeline in the Sakara platform. Sakara is a modern bioinformatics platform that enables collaborative data analysis at scale. Once logged in, you'll be directed to the Community Showcase. The Showcase provides pre-built community pipelines you can experiment with to learn your way around Sakara. The Showcase also contains sample data sets pointing to public data stored in the cloud. Sakara does not ingest data. Rather, it enables you to organize and access open data, no matter where it resides. With the built-in Data Explorer, you can browse remote data repositories using cloud credentials associated with your Sakara workspace. Users can manage files in remote cloud object stores from within the Sakara interface. The Showcase also provides access to predefined compute environments allowing you to run analysis pipelines for free. Let's return to the Launchpad. First, I'll launch NFCore RNA-Seq, a NextFlow pipeline maintained by the NFCore community used to analyze RNA sequencing data. Sakara provides a guided user-friendly interface for entering pipeline parameters. This enables even non-specialists to run complex analysis workflows. I can use the navigation on the right to jump to parameters of interest. By exposing runtime parameters, Sakara makes it easy to build versatile pipelines that can accommodate a variety of different datasets and analysis types. I'll accept the default parameters and launch the pipeline. After launch, Sakara takes us to the Runs tab. Since the community workspace is shared, I can see pipelines submitted by other users experimenting with Sakara. I'll click on the pipeline that I just submitted. With Sakara, I can monitor details about pipeline execution through a visual dashboard. After a minute or so, our pipeline begins to run. I can monitor pipeline tasks using this color-coded dashboard. I can track the progress of individual tasks and view aggregate statistics about my workflow, including how long it is run and the CPU time and memory consumed. Sakara also provides an instantaneous view of load and utilization for each step in the pipeline's execution. I can drill down and see details about any task and access this execution log, no matter where it ran. This is a powerful capability for monitoring execution to see what is done with every sample. It's also helpful for troubleshooting issues with pipelines. With Sakara, I can easily see details such as my pipeline parameters and configuration. We can also view the execution log, updating in real time. After a few minutes, our pipeline is complete. Following pipeline execution, Sakara presents detailed metrics related to CPU, memory, job duration, and I.O. requirements. We can drill down on each pipeline task to see what resources it used. I can see that this task never requires more than 792 megabytes of memory. The Sakara platform can use this information to optimize resource requirements for dramatic cost savings. Sakara provides a convenient Reports tab that can help organize results generated during pipeline execution. Here I've selected a report from MultiQC, another foundational open source tool maintained by Sakara. With support for over 100 bioinformatic tools, MultiQC provides a convenient way to analyze all your QC metrics in one place. You can learn more about MultiQC at multiqc.info. Congratulations! If you've gotten this far, you've successfully run your first pipeline in Sakara. Thank you for watching.